The playoffs have arrived. Can Mission Viejo survive the Trinity League in the postseason? And Mission Viejo in the pool, starting their quest for a CIF title. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone. We are inside the MVTV studio in Mission Viejo. I'm Gordon Spencer. We are in playoff mode in high school football. Just eight teams, including four out of the Trinity League, qualified for the very difficult Division I bracket. Mission Viejo, one team not in that league that had the tough task of facing one of those teams, which starts with the quarterfinals. Mission Viejo, number one out of the South Coast League against number three, Servite, out of the Trinity League. Diablo's number two in Orange County, Servite, number three. Mission Viejo has won 11 of 15 Trinity League games since 2015. That's not an easy task. First quarter, Mission Viejo on offense. Peter Castelli on the run. He makes it 26 yards, accelerating down to the nine-yard line. A couple of plays later, Jacquez Robertson. The four-yard touchdown to begin the scoring. Seven-nothing Diablo. Servite answers on a big play. Noah Fafita to Tataro McMillan. 43 yards into the end zone. It's tied at seven. Now Mission Viejo with the ball on a fourth and 12. Jacquez Robertson up the middle. Gets the first down. A few plays later, same drive. Castelli. 25 yards down to the one yard line. Then Robertson gets the finish. And it's 14 to seven, Mission Viejo. Then that Mission Viejo defense showing up. Ryan Nichols taking down Fafita. That forces a Servite punt. Second quarter, three more for Mission Viejo, courtesy of the foot of J.R. Lopez. 32 yard field goal, 17-7. Diablos at the half, Mission Viejo drum court. Showing off to the home crowd. Getting them pumped up. Third quarter, Mission VA with a turnover. Watch number 71, Noah Salawa, recovering for Servite. Servite takes advantage. Fafita to McMillan. Five yard touchdown. Extra point, no good. Servite trails 17 13. Servite with the ball and going for the lead. Fafita to Zedekiah Centers. He is off and running. Has a blocker. 53 yards. Down to the seven yard line. It's fourth and goal now. Servite going for it. But watch the interference call against Mission Viejo. So Servite's going to get another chance at scoring. But they can't. Lance Kennelly comes up with a big stop on Derek Fuentes. Fourth quarter, Mission Viejo's Peter Castelli. 18 yards into the end zone. Touchdown Diablos, capping a 99-yard drive. 24-14 Diablos. Back and forth. Servite, Nick Manessis. Off and running, 38 yards. Down to the 42-yard line in Mission Viejo territory. A couple of plays later, Derek Fuentes, five yards. Touchdown Friars, 24-19 Mission Viejo. They go for two, Fafita. To McMillan, they convert. Servine down 24-21, 7 .51 left. Then big play after big play. Peter Castelli, look at the throw. Jerome Cortez roll 50 yards down to the two-yard line. Then the finish by Jacquez Robertson for Mission Viejo. Two-yard touchdown, 31-21 Mission Viejo with 4.20 left. Servite not done. Look at McMillan. Fighting for yards, getting to the outside, stumbling. Shaking blockers, gets down to the 32 yard line. Then Fafita to Kyle Bandy. 32 yards and into the end zone on the tightrope. 31 28, Mission Viejo. Mission Viejo on special teams, on the kickoff. James McDonald, he's done this during the season, and he's doing it again. This time McDonald, speed, 85 yards later, can't quite get in down to the two yard line. 
So Easton Mascarinas will finish with the huge play late in the game. The touchdown, 38-28, Mission Viejo serve right not done. Six yard touchdown to McMillan with 10 seconds left. But time runs out on Servite's season as they lose it, 38-35. Well, here's the thing. In, in the first half, we came out running football well. And for whatever reason, I went away from it. So uh, pretty bad play calling in there, second quarter by me. Um, got back to what we were good at, second half, running the football. Thought we ran the ball really well, and that's kind of how we closed this game out, is, is on the ground, being physical. Um, you know, put the weight room on our back, if you will. And we ran the ball really well. Um, I, I, I couldn't be more happy for our kids. Our offensive lines kept up and down all year, and they really came out in the second half when they had to and, and closed out drive. And then we had a really big special teams play. You know, we've been really good on special teams all year long, and that was like the biggest of all of them. That returned almost to that. 43 points scored in the fourth between both teams. Castelli passed for 134, rushed for 68, and a touchdown. Robertson, 101 yards and two touchdowns. Mission Viejo off to the semifinals. Division 8, second round, Palmdale making the four-hour drive down to Aliso and Aguil. Palmdale, the number one team out of the Golden League. Aliso and Aguil, the number three team out of the Seaview League. They came in as an at-large. Second quarter, no score when Palmdale strikes first. Steven Godbolt, 16-yard touchdown. Falcons lead at 7-0. 125 left in the half. Palmdale using that wing T, very confusing offense. And the ball gets loose, and it's recovered by T.J. Jones on the 23-yard line. Aliso able to convert that into this 47-yard field goal by Angelo Viscovi. Aliso trails 7-3. Aliso defense keeps it close. Jordan Keach, the sack. He had a couple in the game. It was 7-3 at the half. What a view from Aliso Nagel Stadium. Third quarter, Aliso going for it on fourth and two. Kyle Kickelhan with the five-yard run. Nice move there for the first down. That leads to points. Angelo Viscovi, 22-yard field goal is good. Aliso down 7-6 in the fourth. Then Aliso gets a break. The fumble by Palmdale. And Trevor Romaldo recovers at the 40-yard line. A few plays later, Chase Christner. Four straight rushes by him. And the result, the Aliso touchdown. Two-point conversion failed. 12-7 Wolverines. Then on fourth and five with 4.25 left, Palmdale converts Marcus Hearn to Taiwan Cavens. 30 yards, their biggest play of the night. And with 3.11 left, Palmdale gets in with the easy touchdown. Marcus Hearn, 13-12 Palmdale. And Aliso's last possession would fail. And their season ends in round two by a final score of 13-12. Aliso missing that two-point conversion and an earlier field goal in the loss. And how about them Mustangs? A couple of tough seasons, and now on to the semifinals of Division Eight football after blowing out San Gorgonio in San Bernardino, 34 to seven. They will host Sunny Hills on November 22nd, a team they lost to in overtime earlier in the season. And Mission Viejo will host the number one team in Orange County, Modern Day, another Trinity League team on Friday, November 22nd in a Division I semifinal. Capo Valley under first-year head coach Sean Curtis qualified for the Division III playoffs and traveled to La Habra, where they were defeated in round one, 42-3. It's break time. When we come back, it's to the pool we go for playoff action in boys' water polo. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is riding your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. Boys, water polo playoffs underway. Mission Viejo, Capo Valley, Tribuco Hills, and Aliso Niguel all qualifying for the postseason. Round one, Division three, Santiago Corona traveling to Aliso Niguel. Wolverines have lost in the first round the last two years. They're the number two team out of the Seaview League. Big eight is where Santiago Corona's from. First period, 1-0 Corona when Aliso's Connor Hasslinger makes it 1-1. 
Corona takes the lead back. Ketter, Cruz, quick goal, 2-1, Corona, Santiago. The lead after one, second period. Aliso's Kyle Knight ties it back up, 2-2. Back and forth early. Seconds later, Corona takes the lead back. Logan Conover puts the Sharks up 3-2. Seconds after that, it's Kobe Escobar for Aliso Niguel, tying it at three. Corona Santiago scores the next three, including back-to-back -back by Logan Conover. An easy one, and the Sharks go up 6-3. Great name for a water polo team. A minute left in the half, 6-4 Corona. Conover again, three straight for number two, 7-4 Corona at the half. John Puffer and his Lisa Miguel Wolverine struggling at home in round one of the playoffs. Sharks looking good on the road to the third period we go. It's Logan Conover again. He gives Corona Santiago a 9-4 lead in the third. Aliso shut out in the third, thanks to great goaltending by Tristan Gerg. The stop, Aliso scoreless in that period. Fourth period, Ketter Cruz from way out gets it to go. 10-4, Corona. Tough night for Aliso. This is how it went. Hitting the cage, bouncing back. Aliso gets one more late goal. Their first in almost two periods, Zach Morcos, but not enough. Aliso Niguel eliminated in round one by a final score of 10 to five. Conover with six goals, Santiago Corona then lost in round two to Los Osos. Division five, boys water polo, second round, Long Beach Poly, the number three team out of the Moore League. Mission Viejo, the number three team out of the Seaview League. The Diablos number one in division five, first period, Mission Viejo out to an early 2-0 lead, Caden Kendall makes it three nothing, Diablos. More Mission Viejo offense, Matt Rodriguez, Tennyson Smith, and Mission Viejo up five nothing after one. Second period, Long Beach Poly gets on the board. Reese Hammond, Lance Gabriel, Jackrabbits down five one. Mission Viejo keeps pouring on the offense. Ryan Talone, Caden Kendall, seven two, Mission Viejo. Then it's Caden Kendall again. The sophomore fires it in. Mission Viejo up 8-2. Long Beach Poly just three goals in the first half. Nick Cruz, Teddy Flores. Diablos up 8-3 at the break. Good crowd on hand. Watching third period. Long Beach Poly, Chase McPherson, Lance Gabriel. 9-4, Mission Viejo. Great defense in the cage. Joe Carlucci with a stop for Mission Viejo. Back on offense in Mission Viejo's Matt Strauss. Caden Kendall, 10-4, Diablos. Long Beach Poly gets within four with back-to-back -back goals. Lance Gabriel, and it's 10-6, Mission Viejo. Mission Viejo gets the next two. Caden Kendall, Victor Plesco, 12-6, Diablos. Fourth period, Victor Plesco, Tanner Hauk, 15-7, Mission Viejo. And the final, the Diablos move on. I think just communication and uh, in practice, we just gotta work hard. It's simple as that. Yeah, I mean, well, we played a really strong opponent. They have a really good uh, press defense. You know, we were able to break down the press and get our best players in one-on-one -on -one situations. And I really think it came down to our, our guys putting away the shots when they're one-on-one. -on -one. Mission Viejo leading from the start, cruising 15 to nine. Then they beat Camarillo in the quarterfinals and Palm Desert in the semifinals to advance to the finals. Another CV League team into the semifinals of Division Five, the Tribuca Hills Mustangs, the CV League at large team, hosting the St. Francis Golden Knights out of La Cañada, their first year in the playoffs. First period tied at one when Tribuca Hills Dylan Davis gives the Mustangs a two to one lead. Then Davis assisting Ben Youngblood, the freshman, puts Tribuca Hills up three to one. End of the first, St. Francis. Robert Alietti comes up with the ball, fires, gets the Knights within one. It's three two, Tribuca Hills after one. Second period, Dylan Davis to Noah Kraus. Tribuca Hills goes up by two again. 4-2 Mustangs at the half. Tribuco Hills holds St. Francis scoreless in the second period. Third period, St. Francis back on offense. Robert Alietti, the looper. The captain gets the Knights within one, 4-3. 
Then after a foul, Tribuco Hills takes advantage. Luke Walters, 5-3, Tribuco Hills. Then goalie Matt Wee ahead to Ethan Bergen with a minute to go in the third. Punches it in, 6-4, Tribuco Hills. St. Francis sticking around with 15 seconds left. Jason Alietti, top corner, Knights down 6-5 in the third to the fourth. Again, Tribuco Hills goes up by two. Ben Youngblood, Ethan Bergen, 7-5 Tribuco Hills. 7-6 now, again, after a one gold game, but Tribuco Hills, Dylan Davis to Youngblood, 8-6 Tribuco Hills with three minutes left. With two and a half to go, Jaron Sin scores for St. Francis. Knights down 8-7, 2-15 left. Ben Youngblood to Luke Walters. Waits patiently, 9-7, Tribuco Hills. Then Matt Wee coming up big in the cage, making the save with 120 left, and that was enough. The Tribuco Hills Mustangs win it. Feels great. Um, we've had a few disappointing seasons, and it's finally coming together this year. Uh, we've all worked super hard. That game showed a lot of character, a lot of grit. Uh, I'm proud of all of us as a team effort. Feels good. Oh man, I can't describe it. Just a, a credible experience uh, getting here. A lot of hard work, dedication, and energy. Uh, the boys brought it tonight. Yes, coach, it's, boys it, it's super, it's super exciting to see these guys get uh, a great chance to play to play together one more time in the final here, and uh, we're really, really excited about the uh, experience to get to this point. And uh, this is a brotherhood of of group here of boys, and so. Just again, very, very exciting. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. 9-7, the final what a battle for Tribuco Hills. Matt Wee coming up huge in the cage. Six saves, a steal, and an assist. That sets up the finals match in Division 5 between Mission Viejo and Tribuco Hills, a city championship on the line. So here we go, Division 5 Water Polo Championship. It's a Seaview League matchup. Mission Viejo number one in Division 5. Tribuco Hills number three in Division 5. Mission Viejo has won twice in 2019 over Tribuco Hills. Mission Viejo, it's been 1980 since they were in the championship and won it all. First period, first goal with 4.23 left. Dylan Davis puts the Mustangs up 1-0. Good goaltending on both sides. Matt Wee coming up big, making the stop for Tribuco Hills. Then with six seconds left in the first period, Mission Viejo ties it. Tennyson Smith creeping in, takes the shot, gets it to go. 1-1 one, one after one. Then Mission Viejo's Joe Carlucci making the saves for the Diablos. Putting the arm up. Just one goal in the second. Tribuco Hills freshman Ben Youngblood with five seconds left gives the Mustangs a 2-1 lead at the half. Tribuco Hills looking for their first title and its first win over Mission Viejo this season. Mission Viejo looking for three wins over CV League rival Tribuco Hills. This would be their biggest. Third period, 15 seconds in. Mission Viejo ties it. Matt Rodriguez rattles it in. It's 2-2. Then Tribuco Hills on the power play, working it around, working it around. Luke Walters, the goal, 3-2 Tribuco Hills with 4.29 left in the third. Now Mission Viejo with a man up on the power play. Matt Strauss there to clean it up and punch it in. 3-3, late third, third tie of the game. Then with a minute to go in the third, sophomore Caden Kendall puts Mission Viejo up 4-3 going into the fourth. Matt Wee keeping Tribuco Hills in it with another save, knocking it down. Fourth period, Mission Viejo up 5-3, and it's Caden Kendall with his third goal with three minutes left to make it 6-3, Mission Viejo, four unanswered for the Diablos. Joe Carlucci making a big save for Mission Viejo, keeping it a three-goal lead. Tribuco Hills, Noah Kraus finally gets another goal for the Mustangs, their first since 4:29 left in the third, 6-4, but the Mustangs run out of time, and Mission Viejo begins to celebrate their 6-4 championship win. Caden Kendall, three goals, his dad on that 1980 team, the last time Mission Viejo won a title. Uh, we played Villa Park back in the day, and it was a tight match, and uh, I was able to... Uh, Two-point game, just like this one. Yeah, and uh, it was. Uh, I was able to, to do the tiebreaker goal that kind of 
switched the momentum and uh, it was cool to see my son do the same thing. So. Yeah, it's been 39 years and um, he played really hard back then and Mission has just been waiting to bring it back home and we finally did. It's it's unbelievable feeling. Um, this team has been number one all season and it's come down to the final game. We knew we could get here. We knew we were the best team in this division. We finally had a chance to prove it all the way to the end. We took it one game at a time and that led us all the way here. We had to prove it and we did it. Yeah, it's just, it's really surreal. I can't really believe this is happening. Um, it was a really tough defensive game. Chibuco really brought their A game. Uh, first half, they were leading almost, I think, the entire time. And I'm just really proud to, uh, that we were just able to pull it out in the end, get a good, solid defensive team win. Really proud of our team. It was kind of funny. We were talking about, uh, I think, our first and second game. Hey, guys, we should win CIF. We, I think we can do it this year. Last year, we tried to do it. We got eliminated first round. And then here we are. We just won our final game of pretty much the season. And who, who thought this would happen? This isn't the result we wanted, and yet we know that we're going to come back better than ever and have it where it's just that much more disciplined, focused, uh, and, and have it where, you know, competition going forward, um, you know, even if it is up a division next year, that it's going to be the type of thing where uh, we're prepared, we're ready for it, and uh, with the experience level it just keeps on growing with the program. So I'm super proud of the boys. Congrats to the Tribuco Hills Mustangs for a great season, but they come up short against the Mission Viejo Diablos. Mission Viejo winning all three games against Tribuco Hills this year, including the Division Five Championship, their first title since 1980. Congratulations once again to the Mission Viejo Diablos. What a season winning again, their first title since 1980. In Division Three, Capo Valley lost in round two to Beckman, nine to five. And in girls tennis, Tribuco Hills lost in a Division Five wildcard match to Portola, and Aliso Niguel lost in the Division I quarterfinals to Marlboro. That's it for this episode. Tell your friends, post videos and photos from your games, and use those hashtags. Log on to cityofmissionviejo.org forward slash MVTV or cityofalisoviejo.com for all of the episodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer.